to my channel it's Nikki here and I hope you're having an amazing day and here I am with little Nora and um, we are going to be talking about um, my first reborn experience and if you do not know Nora is the Haley Andrea sculpt by Laura Tuzio Ross and she was reborn by Laura Tuzio Ross as well so yeah um i wanted to talk about my first reborn experience because i think it's important if you first get into the hobby um what to look for and especially if you're looking for a uh, authentic real born reborn i'm sorry there are real borns out there but reborns um if you are looking for authentic reborn it's really important um, to know what you're looking for for uh, purposes of not getting scammed or, you know, just trying to have a really good experience. Um, and the reason why I say this is because a lot of people will buy the manufactured doll that was um, taken from an artist like Bonnie Brown, for instance. Her Saskia is probably really, really huge on like you know um, I see those dollars like 50 60 80 90 dollars you know and so um, if you don't know anything you think you just buying a doll that looks really cute on the picture and um, you want it but if you are looking for a reborn uh, it's really important to learn some things to stay away from that but yeah um, so my first reborn experience was I was looking on the inter internet one day and lo and behold this beautiful picture of a doll appeared that looked so realistic and I was just thinking wow you know it was so intriguing and interesting and so um, I started to uh, Google uh, dolls, realistic dolls. At the time, I did not know they were named Reborn. Um, I just Googled realistic dolls that looked real, you know. And so, all these pictures came up, all these babies came up. And at that time, I didn't know what sculpt mean. Artists, you know, a lot of the terms is really important in this community. I did not know anything about it. But I just was very intrigued by the picture. And that's one thing that can get us a, a little uh, off key too is we we fall in love with a picture and we necessarily don't do our homework so i just started to embrace the love for this hobby and i started to learn and try to grow with it um and what i did i uh, much as much knowledge as i possibly uh could get to know about this hobby i did you know so i learned what sculpt means um I learned what um, reborning means and um, because we see these different dolls and they all look different and we want to know like where you know where is the name for this doll or where did it come from and so you learn the sculpt name so yeah and so this is the Haley Andrew like I said previously and so if you like another look for a doll, you will go and look for that sculpt name. Uh, because even like if you show your babies to people that doesn't even know anything about the hobby, um, and you say, hey, I, I, you know, I got this doll custom, they're thinking you customized everything from the look of the doll and everything. No, the doll looked this way, but I customized how, you know, she would look for me. Like skin color, things like that. So... Um, my first experience was, was, um, I'll say I took my time. It was long and I was patient. I think I was in the hobby and not socially, not on Instagram, not talking to anybody with it, but just researching for almost six months to almost a year before I decided, yes, I want to purchase one of these dolls. So I started getting myself familiar with artists uh, who actually painted the dolls. And so at that time, um, I don't know what, what I was on. It could have been eBay. It was some site that I was on that was talking about, you know, the realistic um, idea of being scammed. And at that time, it was saying that if you, you know, buy a doll, you won't get the doll or the doll looks nothing like the picture. And so that scared me because this is an expensive hobby. So you don't want to pay so much money for a doll that you do not receive or looks nothing like the picture 
or you have no idea. Because the trick about it is, usually when you talk to artists, it's not over the phone. Um, it's mostly in emails and texts. You're virtually talking to someone without seeing them. So you're making a deal with someone that you do not know. And so you have to trust that they are uh, looking out for your best interests and they are going to give you what you're paying for. So, um, I remember, I remember, um, looking at sculpts and I fell in love with this sculpt and I found out that it was, um, sculpted by Laura Tuzio Ross. So that what led me to her website and it's my world of babies. If anybody wants to go and check out her website, she does silicone and reborn, but she only reborns this, the dolls that she has sculpted which I think is neat in itself because they are her babies. Uh, so you have to pick one of her dolls to, uh, to get reborn. But um, I fell in love with this sculpt. I talked to her. She made the experience amazing. She was very great in communication. She does not do work in progress pictures. Um, that didn't bother me at the time because... Um, I didn't know that you're supposed to get work in progress pictures or you should, you, you know, want to see the, the uh, outcome of what your baby looks like at the end or whatever the case may be. I'll talk about that work in project, ugh, sorry, work in progress pictures on another subject because I have like pros and cons to that particular topic. But anyway. Uh, she doesn't do that. Uh, she does do layaway, guys, if, you, if you're looking to pay on the baby um, an extended amount of time. And um, But yes, so, you know, I picked this sculpt. I told her what I wanted. She asked you about hair, skin tone, all of that. And so, you know, I told her about that and I was just so excited. But guys, you have to have patience because I did not know that it would... You see something that you really like, you want to buy it, and um, you want it right then. So if you don't have patience, it can be a rough time waiting for your baby. Um, it's also anxiety because you're just hoping that it looks right. But when she sent me my first pictures of Nora, I was in love, guys. I just thought that she was the best thing rocking, and I still do. Nora is three. Well, she'll be three this year, and I've had her since 2018. And I love her. She's my first reborn. She's, uh, you know, the first one in my collection, and I still gravitate towards this baby. I love her to death. She's going to be more of a display baby than a lot of changing because I do have other babies now but she is my first and I you know couldn't be happier and you know to work with Laura was very very um professional because she communicated she let me know what I was in for but it's good to know a little bit about the hobby when you do talk to a artist about customizing your doll um because you don't really want them to um know everything for you because it's your vision and they can't you know they can't go off of something that you don't know so it's good to sort of do your homework in that aspect if you're doing a custom now if you're buying a doll um that you see um offline and it comes straight to you that's different because you're seeing that baby and uh you love the way the baby looks um i have yet to do that and i that is something that i want to do this year is to see a baby that i actually actually just love and just buy it and it comes to me um but yes um if you do that, it's good to know what sites to look on. And eBay is a good site, but I have noticed that it's a lot of the fake dolls running on eBay as well. One thing that you can tell for sure that it is not by an artist, uh, the way the baby looks, it doesn't look as authentic as the sculpt does. And a lot of times, guys, the size is different. Like, Nora is... Um, 21 inches well if the Haley Andra sculpt was stolen and they was manufacturing her and I say stolen uh, because you know they take these without the artist uh, uh, agreeing to let these babies sell for mass production or whatever so 
they take you know nora is 21 inches and but that sculpt may be 18 inches there is a big difference it's not as big as the um authentic sculpt and um that is a red flag but um i just wanted to tell you my first reborn experience because um i think it's very important that you really take your time when you're trying to decide on a baby and trying to decide what you love and um it's worth it it's worth it to take your time um i will be doing an another detailed video on this but i wanted to do with nora because she is my first and she's my first experience guys i hope you have an amazing day we are so glad that you came by and stopped by with us and enjoyed uh this video and we will see you again bye